You may now begin your presentation. The traditional market, the elder, the deaf. They are center of social issue. Nevertheless, they are excluded from economic activities. Inclusive growth. Hello, my name is Park Song Min. My major is business administration. Hello, my name is Izzy Wang. My major is food and nutrition. Nice to meet you. My name is An Chi Young. I major in chemical engineering. Presentation designed by Bong Min Kyung and Oh Myung Do. Our president is Kim Dong Sun. We have come in with them and grown together during the last seven years. Today, among five projects, we will introduce three projects. First, Project Rebirth. From a long time ago, Korean traditional markets were the basis for all generations to communicate with each other and for the regional economy to prosper. However, Korean traditional markets in recent days suffer from a loss of consumers, especially among young generations, resulting in the cellular population's aging, loss of communication, and poverty. In order to revive the traditional market, and further, to bring positive impact on the regional economy, we commenced the project Rebirth. Rebirth first picked Songho market and Jungang market that seem to demand economic aid the most among 12 markets in Songnam. We reverse the two markets by distinguishing each market's characteristics. First, we would you like to show you the rebirth of Songho market. The merchants of Songho market long wanted to bring back consumers but did not actually know how to. Therefore, we analyzed what the problem were. The result showed that the consumer desired that the merchants be kinder, cleaner, more reliable about place of origins. Based on the data, we constructed curriculum and proceeded with education for a month. After the program, the Martins couldn't realize the problem. They began to greet the consumer with a smile, wore a front wide at work, and credit their own place of origin tax. Rebirth and the Martins strive to create a clean and trust traditional market. We finally solved the consumer trust issues and the merchants did not stop to innovate. They even suggested their own way to improve the hygiene of surrounding environment. According to the recent result of field research, we found that we need to build modern facility to bring revitalization to the traditional market. One difference was that Songho market was not listed as an official business market by the government to give them financial support. This was a huge obstacle for them to bring change to the market. Therefore, we approach it from a different viewpoint. Writing from market entrance, which many people have passed by, there was an unpleasant looking bird container that was like a symbol of depressed economy surrounding the market. We attempt to change the awareness of the market by the offering them cultural space inside the market, first starting from changing this poor container into artistic state. For this, we made Bjergi drawing club. We created drawing of family gathering together, Songho market main title, and its major merchandises in order to deliver messages to the consumer that Songho market offers space for all generations to interact with each other. Now, let me ask the president of Songho Market about the result of making cultural market. Sir, did the profit increase due to the cultural market? Yes, I have heard of it. In the past, we had a very strong design, but we had a 
역할을 하고 나서 산뜻한 기분으로 해서 고객들 반응도 좋았고 또 10에서 한 20% 정도 고객들이 늘었다고 합니다. The second topic, we would you like to show you the levers of Jungang Market. Jungang Market had a full of consumer, but due to narrow land space, there existed a physical limit for their business to expand. We tried to overcome this by bringing out Jungang Market's unique characteristics. It had a variety of food to enjoy. We found that they had delivery system. So we turned our focus to the university that was across to the market and had many students. We suggested one traditional market for one university system to give an over sales increase by attracting a mass of consumer from young generation. This was done by offering convenience delivery system to visit students of nearby schools at cheap price. From our one survey, we realized that the student desired more availability of the food product, John. John was also one of the main products of Jungan Market, and we are currently in the process of verifying business values. After those steps, securing demand of consumer, more products other than John will go through the same process. From this, we improve the problems of Jungang Market. Songho Market's world drawing business became well known through press reports recently, and as a result, Songnam Market Commission's Premiers Foundation signed up for partnership with us. From this partnership, the first traditional market business model will be Ongo Jishin Kitchen. We realized that the couples desire to cook with each other on special days. From this, we started the Ongo Jishin Kitchen project that offers cooking spaces around the market. Here, the couples can directly cook with each other. A dish that is created from all this space and the ingredients offered by the market become a menu. The ingredients for each dish become packaged and can be prepared on our own delivery systems. The market receives the supply fee of the ingredient and the rental fee as a new source of income. For the customers that desire to shop directly on site, the market offers Ongojishin gift card to offer the products at discounted prices. This draws potential future customers to the market as they shop with all these new offers. The profitability of this project will be verified in a shop owned by the Songnam Foundation, and once it's verified, all the 12 traditional market will apply the new business model. Rebirth attempt to attract young generations of customers to Songho market and Jungang market and create a new market structure for increased profits. This will not be confined to just the two markets. With the Ongo Jishin Kitchen project, Rebirth will start to work with the Market Commercial Spermacy Foundation to revive all the 12 traditional markets in Songnam. This business model will not only improve the life quality of the merchant, but also contribute to the development of the infrastructure of the local economy that allows interaction and communication between residents in the market again. Rebirth will continue to work for the revival of the traditional markets. Project Oson Doson. Has anyone heard of the term nono generation? The first no is a no in English. The second no means ages in Chinese. It mainly refers to the people in their 50s and 60s that start for new careers in the second half of their lives. The baby boomers are main characters of silver industries. However, the societal last place for employment of this nono generation. Now, we turn to the new social trend where more and more women are employed and their babies need to be taken care of. However, many of them cannot afford the high cost of child care, leaving their children a company like Mad Baby. From this perspective, we thought about the possibility for the non generation to take care of these children just like our old grandmother took care of us. Our mission is to solve the social child care problems and elderly unemployment rate to educate non generation into baby series. During the initial market surveys, we, we met senior, senior mom that share the same mission. Senior mom educates old people into babysitters. However, 
the existing educational curriculum was based on largely on textbook theories. The students were having a hard time understanding vocabulary and education with less practical values. Also, the professional nanny had low social reputation. It was not improved after education. Osondoso faced the part of education program and focused on practical training. Students got out of the class and learned the science, skill, and knowledge with, for example, baby models. This increased the number of people looking for employment after graduation by 32%. Osondoso did not stop at improving education system. We aim for complete employment of all the graduates by offering better connection with the employers. We discovered from a market survey that post-natural care center called the Lava Post, the demand the, the babysitter the most. Most of the mothers in this place had jobs and were worried about where to find proper babysitters. Based on the, this demand, we took partnership with Lava Post. Lava Post distributed Bushel and free gift card for customer interviews and do increase its own custom satisfaction rate. Potential babysitters contacted from network with Labe Boss and Senior Mom to secure a long term source for employment. After the partnership with Labe Boss, the number of inquiry calls for babysitters increased from average 22 to 30. Osun Doson started to construct a stable system for employment. We also try to provide employment opportunities to more older generations by holding an Oson Doson photo exhibition in the Seniors' Day ceremony held by Songnam Welfare Center. The exhibition was mainly about happy images of old people and children. We provided counseling services to introduce the concept of silver babysitters for over 1,000 elder people. Oson Doson had an advertising effect on 3,000 people in the main targeted regions as they are reported by the press, such as Bundang newspaper, Songnam Today, and Songnam newspaper. Now, we are attempting to create babysitters' professions for children of different ages. The employers of the babysitters wanted to customize services for their own children instead of simple caring services. We realized that the age range of the children of our interest was from 1 to 10 years old. Therefore, we divided the target children into three categories to offer appropriate child care, personality, and language training. From this, individual households, we have a greater satisfaction rate by employing our babysitters, and we will be competing better against other babysitters with Oson Doson program. From this, 25 students successfully graduated, and nine silver babysitters get a job. The average monthly salary of the beneficiaries increased from 100,000 won in March to 600,000 won in June, an overall increase of six times. This is 400,000 won more than the average income of female seniors. 12.6 million won of business profits were generated in five months through the Oson Doson project. Oson Doson strives to create a fund system to offer seniors employment and solve the social problem of child care. The lives of the Nona generation were once full of boredom and worries about the uncertain future. They finally found a career that gives both stable income and spiritual accomplishment. The second half of the lives of the Nona generation has just begun with Oson Toson. Project Sullivan. Raw beans before they are roasted have many possibilities to create profit, but their value is hardly acknowledged. Once they are roasted and go through the hands of barista, they turn into coffee with a value that can bring happiness to people. Likewise, that people also have infinite potential, but their value is hardly recognized by people due to the prejudice about against handicapped people. Team Sullivan works with these sad people in order to turn them into baristas that bring happiness to people, just like coffee from raw beans. The employment rate of Korean thumbs up to about 60%, while the specific percentage for that people is only about 
even though there are people that are employed out on simple labor duties due to the lack of conversational skill. They once wanted to work for something other than simple labor. In the year 2008, Team Saliba understood people's needs for the profession of baristas as people interested in coffee increase and the market itself gradually increased. Henceforth, a project to create financial value through the lab baristas. Team Saliba leads the barista education program that solves the conversational problem of that people at work with our own sign language interpreter and coffee educational institute. It started from 2008. We worked with many business partners to settle down a stable education system for their baristas. From the year 2011, the six deaf baristas were employed after receiving from Sullivan Education. Since then, Team Sullivan moved our focus from education to actual employment of deaf baristas. We attempt to improve the employment rate of the student from Sullivan Education by holding regular meetings with cafe employers that hire deaf baristas. In those meetings, we realized that we'd been neglecting two major problems of graduate from Sullivan Education. First, the deaf baristas lacked work ethics and had a rate of changing jobs, so their career life was short. From this, we had to review the original curriculum and started to apply changes, including invitation of cafe supervisors that have experience to employ their people to discuss about the understanding of a profession as a barista. From the new changes, the Sullivan students learn valuable hands-on work experiences when working as a barista. Second, the deaf baristas needed specialized skills to compete with other baristas in the cafe industry. We then added Latteer Specialized Skill Training Part in the existing program that offers Level 2 Barista Certificate. From Latteer, deaf people could express their hearts and dreams on the copy they create. One side effect was an inevitable increase in tuition fees. Team Sullivan considered this and negotiated with copy academies to decrease the tuition fees by 80% to offer the education to deaf people with unstable income. Moreover, the students are now required to create their personal portfolio to appeal themselves in job applications. These changes we apply to Sullivan education decrease the rate of changing jobs and increase the individual career lifetimes. More Sullivan graduates are employed. After our renewed survey, six more deaf, deaf people were employed as baristas in the last 10 months, making the total number of students employed 12. The deaf barista have won 64 million ones so far. Last year, Team Sullivan planned to train a deaf barista tutor. This year, we have one student that can teach other barista student and another establishes her own cafe. Team Sullivan strives to give impact on a greater range of society. Town Welfare Center and two cafe received aid from Sullivan to proceed with their own deaf barista education and employment. We gave the society its own sustainability to educate deaf people to achieve their dreams. We took partnership with the Southern District Deaf Welfare Center for improved public awareness. From the nine class, we have improved systematic plans from recruiting to post-employment. Sinchon Copy MBA works with the Deaf Welfare Center to open a separate class for deaf baristas to lead long-term education. Also, we created a network system of sign language interpreters to improve communicating quality of education. Lastly, Sullivan graduates are now considered potential stable employees by mass franchise chain. Now, I want to ask a question to all of you. Has anyone imagined a deaf person receiving barista education successfully and working at a cafe without sight? Team Sullivan and deaf people made all this possible. We inscribed barista a completely new social culture in the deaf society starting from four years ago. Deaf high school students are targeted for special barista lectures for future recruiting. A deaf barista tutor is a new kind of profession we managed to create. 
that people shared joy and sorrow with Sullivan, and now are taking challenges for even greater changes. That people can now communicate with the world through coffee. Now, I'm going to share with you heartwarming stories. Tales of who wanted to share them with other deaf people by educating them on how to be a white star. Finally, history came to. Judges may ask questions. Kakage, Sege Project Gaju in Zanjade, Sege Project Sakan Hesuga at the end to Alizade. Such a to chess at Daniel Sik. Yangoro 
아, 제가 보기엔 세계의 프로젝트들이 상당히 많이 이제 교육이라든지 교육 훈련이나 이런 게 지속적으로 돼야 어떻게 보면 이 프로젝트의 영속성을 향후 아, 설리반 같은 경우 4년이 됐다는 다른 것도 될수 될 있을 것 같거든요. 예를 들어 재래시장에 대한 그런 그 상인들에 대한 아니면 또 소비자에 대한 그런 훈련, 교육, 홍보 이런 것도 필요하고 또는 시니어 맘들이 어, 지속적으로 교육해서 그, 그, 그분들이 또 어, 자, 일자리를 잡을 수 있게, 베이비시터가 될수 있게 할수 있는 이런 것도 교육의 하나 일환인 것 같은데 그런 세계 프로젝트에 대한 향후 어, 어, 교육 계획이랄까 이런 어, 훈련 계획 같은 게좀 정확히 어떻게 되는 게 있나요? 네, 저 제가 답변해 드리겠습니다. 네, 질문해 주셔서 감사합니다. 먼저 저는 오손대손 프로젝트부터 교육 프로그램 말씀드리자면 저희가 이번부터 이제 베이비스터 분들께 연령과 교육 특화 시스템을 저희가 도입을 했어요. 그래서 이제 0세부터 2세, 3세에서 5세 이런 식으로 베이비스터 분들에게 교육을 해서 수요체에게 더 전문적인 교육을 받게 해드리도록 저희는 지금 노력하고 있습니다. 네, 그렇고 이제 리버스 같은 경우는 저번에 저희가 상인 블로그 교육부터 시작해서 경제 교육이나 그런 이번에는 이제 특판 행사를 회사들과 자매견을 맺어서 지금 교육 중에 있고요. 그 설리범 같은 경우는 그 바리스타 분들 그 커피 교육 프로그램이나 그리고 이번에는 라떼 아트 교육을 추가해서 네, 교육하고 있습니다. 예, 감사하고요. 그이 프로젝트를 진행하고 또 수행하는데 장기적으로 이어가기 위해서. 팀 내에 누가 어떤 역할들을 프로세스를 가지고 있고 또 앞으로는 어떻게 이어갈 것이고 그 다음에 상대 프로젝트에 해당하는 팀의 컨택과 조직에 관한 역할 분담 그 프로세스를 팀 내에서 가지고 있나요? 석세션 플랜들을 가지고 있나요? 네, 말씀해 주셔서 감사합니다. 저는 가천대학교 부회장을 맡고 있는 오명표라고 합니다. 네, 아까 말씀해 주셨듯이 이제 학교 내에서 프로젝트로 나눠져 있어서 각 프로젝트에 속한 인원들끼리 각 학교의 프로젝트, 각 프로젝트에 이제 지속성을 위해서 많이 고민을 하고 있습니다. 그뿐만 아니라 이제 각 프로젝트별로 이제 마스터 플랜을 갖고 있는데 설립원 같은 경우에는 이제 교육에서 벗어나서 취업 이후에 그리고 또 복지원과 정부 이렇게 연계를 통해서 정말 그들만의 독립적인 프로그램을 만들기 위해서 노력하고 있고요. 그리고 리버스 같은 경우에는 아까 프레젠테이션에서 잠시 나왔듯이 이제 온고신 키치라는 새로운 비즈니스 모델을 확립함으로써 단순히 우리 학교 주변뿐만이 아니라 저희 학교 주변뿐만이 아니라 이제 다른 여러 군데의 전통시장에서도 이제 통할 수 있는 그런 비즈니스 모델을 연구하고 있습니다. 그리고 오손도선 프로젝트 같은 경우에도 지금 당, 지금은 이제 교육에 거치고 있지만 교육뿐만 아니라 지금 하고 있는 수요처의 확대를 갖다 통해서 이제 그분들이 교육에서 벗어나서 좀더 고용이 고용이 될수 있는 그 범위를 갖다가 넓히는데 초점을 두고 있습니다. 그저 바리스타 그 프로그램에 대해서 간단하게 그 어, 데스 바리스타 분들을 고용하는 그 업체는 어떤 베네피트를 갖고 갈수 있나요? 네, 말씀 질문 주셔서 감사합니다. 지금 현재 저희가 이제 2000 작년 2010년 후반기부터 이제 데프 바리스타 이제 청원탱인 장인 이제 바리스타가 점점 배출이 되기 시작했습니다. 이제 그래서 이제 고용 주제 그간에 이제 저희가 이제 고용을 해오셨던 고용 주제 뿐만 아니라 이제 장인 고용 공단과 이제 그리고 매스 프랜차이즈들과의 연계를 통해서 이러한 고용에 있어서 좀더 지속성을 가지려고 하고 있습니다. 뿐만 아니라 이제 1호 Your time has now expired. Thank you, Team A judges, ladies and gentlemen. Please join me in thanking the Team A for the hard work. <웃음>